everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the July update to my Rolling Tan Project Pan. So this is the project pan where I uh, set long term goals uh, to finish products up because I mean I do have quite a bit of makeup in my collection and I need to get through shit and this is the project where I do so. Um, so I don't want to blabber too much, let's just jump straight into this update shall we? So, um, I usually go by the order of how I apply things to my face. I have something in my eye. Uh, all right. Uh, so let's do that. We have my primer. This is the primer from an uh, unknown brand. Don't really know. It's this horse thing, but I'm basically turning blind, so I can't really see. It is the Relief Gripping Primer. And last time uh, when I, I, I enrolled this one to the project, I couldn't really make a marking because it clung to the sides. But this time I can actually make a marking. So when I roll this one in, it weighed 69 grams. And this is what it look like, looks like today. So you can see now that I can, I, it has settled quite evenly, so I can make a mark on this one. Uh, it's not a very big container, and uh, so I sh think I should be able to finish this one up pretty quickly. I enjoy this primer actually, it's very gripping, so it gets pretty tacky when you apply it to your face. And uh, I feel like it makes the foundation grip better or last longer on the skin but yeah it is weighing 66 grams i don't i probably won't use as much makeup in july uh, as i normally would because i am uh, having my summer break or vacation and i'm gonna do a lot of like practical physical labor work digging in the ground and shit because i have a cabin and i have plans for my cabin so I'm uh, probably not going, going to wear that much makeup, so I don't think that the progress will be too grand by the next update, but this is something that probably won't be here too long after summer. Uh, then I also, I think last time, enrolled my new foundation. Uh, this is the Sosu by Suzanne Jackson Dripping Gold CC Cream Foundation thing. Uh, this is something that I want to finish this year because it has an SPF of 45. Uh, when I rolled this one in, it weighed uh, 43 grams and I do have an air bubble, so I don't think like progress pictures will do this much like at all because I can't really gauge how much is left. I mean, I can squeeze it down, but here is like so much air. Um, this is more than one fluid ounce, it is actually 35 mils, so just about a fluid ounce, 1.18 I think it's us or 16. Uh, I have the shades 01 Porcelain, this is a dewy foundation and this is, you know, it is what I'm wearing today and I have oily skin, so it's maybe not the best for me, but I use this to mix because I have a foundation that is a bit too dark and this is like a light shade so uh, i mix it and it, it's also a very good mixing uh, foundation not all foundations mix well with others but this one actually works really really well well to mix in with other things so that is how i do how i use it and like because if i only use this one i will be like even even shinier even sweatier than this uh, but yeah, I want to finish this one this year because it has SPF 45, so um, I want to make sure that I can use it up before it goes bad. Uh, did I say how much it weighs now? It weighs 40 grams now, so I have used 3 grams of this product. Then uh, I have been working on my NYX concealer, the Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I have been working on this one. Uh, I have been working on this one since March, and when I wrote it in, it weighed 20 grams. And then in April, it weighed 17 grams. In May, 15 grams. And in June, 14 grams. Uh, I did have like a humongous jump 
uh, from when I roll it in until the uh, other month because I, I had a huge air bubble. I just had like so little left last update but I haven't quite finished it but now uh, this con uh, concealer is finito. I am so happy about that. It is an airless pump so you can use up all of the concealer which is really really great. I don't really like the packaging of this one because it's like this weird little pump uh, so you need to pump it somewhere and then you know blend it out on your face and I don't like to pump it straight on my face but yeah it is a very nice concealer I would absolutely uh, repurchase this one uh, I'm not going to because I have concealers that I need to finish up before buying something new but uh, if you're looking for a good concealer and uh, this one is absolutely worth the money and uh, then I have been working on a big ass powder and I have been having this one in since January so it's been six months now uh, it is my Clarence loose mineral loose powder and when I rolled it in in January it weighed 69 grams and I have been working this it has been steady progress with this powder I've been using like three grams each month so in February it weighed 166 grams then in March 163, in April 161, May 157 and in June 152. So I did not have that much left of this powder and I am very happy to say that I have finished this powder. Uh, it is like, as I said, I have oily skin so when, when summer comes I tend to use more powder. Uh, this is a very like interesting packaging because the sifter is loose so when you use the powder it actually like follows down with the powder so i'm definitely going to reuse this com this packaging uh, for when i want to do franken franken powders and so on but so happy to finally have this one out uh, it is like i have the shade 01 fair and it is uh, you got 30 grams a product one fluid ounce but it's not fluid one one ounce not fluid and uh, yeah it took me six months to completely finish this one up it was uh, unused before I rolled it into this product so really happy about that uh, let's talk then about my blush I have been working on a liquid blush from Wycon which I think is an Italian makeup brand uh, and this is a very very small little cute blush. It's in the shade something peach Candy peach uh, and I rolled this one in in uh, May and then it weighed 19 grams in June it weighed 19 grams and now it's weighing 17 grams and I have removed the stopper because the wand came out completely dry so I had to remove the stopper but it is like still quite a lot of product in this and you can see that this is covered and nasty as well and um, I think it's because like the packaging is so small and short and the stopper took out up quite some space so when I swirled the wand around it didn't really have any space to I, could, I couldn't swirl, swirl the wand around because it was like shut and stuck. So, um, 17 grams now. I don't know how long it will take now when I remove the stopper because it feels like I basically have like half the product left. So we shall see. It is a beautiful liquid blush. I am wearing it today but I have topped it with a bunch of other shit as well because, you know, we are blush, blush heavy today. Uh, but yeah, it is very lovely and uh, I it's a, the perfect shade to work on during this summer. Uh, then I have also been working on my highlighter. I had like a highlighter um, quad? No, I had five quintet uh, from Ofra with their like um, most popular highlighters and it was only minis. So I had some of the shades are still remaining uh, so I mixed it all together into one Franken highlighter and I have been working on this one since the beginning of the year. I want to finish this one up to complete that 
to complete all of those highlighters. So uh, you can see what it looked like when I rolled it in. It weighed 57 grams. Then it has been weighing 56 grams since February. <laughs> and very, very slow progress. It felt like I got nowhere. But then um, actually when I think it was last month, I felt like, oh, now I can really see that something is happening. And this month, we also have a weight change. So it has been weighing 56 grams since February, but now it's weighing 55 grams. And this is what it's looking like. So we are really getting down there. It is still, like I could probably have put some on my chest today. This is a super, super blinding highlight as it is an Ofra highlight. And you know, if you have had one, you know, but it is very pretty. It is so nice. I am still a big fan of the <laughs> blinding highlights. I, I, I just am. So we are um, slow and steady. But now I do see the light at the end of the tunnel. I think I will be able to finish this one up this year, uh, which is so exciting. But yeah, this is what we're looking like and I will remain in the project. And then I've been working on a setting spray from MAC, the MAC Fix Plus Cherry Blossom Setting Spray. Uh, you will see that the mister on this uh, is different because I switched it out because I don't like, like the Fix Plus misters. Uh, I rolled this one in in April and then it weighed, no, in May and then it weighed 81 grams. In June it weighed 60 grams and I had used quite a lot. This is what we're looking like today. So I did not completely finish this one up. However, I am going to roll this one out. I'm going to have this and use it to wet my brushes because it's just so little left. So I will get through this so quickly. And I feel like, you know, it's a setting spray. I can roll a new one in. I am counting this one as complete. I can bring it up the next update to show you that I have finished it. But yeah, this one, even though there is a little, little bit left, I am going to roll it out because, because I want to. So we are, uh, bringing something new in in that place then final three items we have two eye things and one lip thing let's talk about the eye things um well, i have been working on my lurella liquid eyeshadow or like glitter eyeshadow in the shade donatella since april when i walked in it weighed 20 grams and i have been using this one as my base for my shimmer shades. I couldn't make a new marking after the first month, but then, um, but I had used one gram. Then in June, I, I suddenly had like this huge jump and I could make a new marking. Uh, and it weighed 19 grams then, and it's still weighing 19 grams. I haven't remarked it because it is the same issue that the item is like clinging to the sides. Maybe I could make a marking like there, but yeah, I think I will have to remove the stopper soon because it is coming out a bit more dry. This is what that is looking like. And as I said, I, I use it like a glitter glue and then I press on my shimmer shades to have like some extra sparkle and it's been working out super fine. Uh, this is the second to last like glitter thing I have. Uh, I have one other liquid glitter eyeshadow or yeah that I will use after this one but then I am out there was a phase where everyone was like so head over heels for these types of items but I feel like we moved on and I yeah but I'm happy to work on it I mean it's a it's a nice sparkly eye thing how many times can I say thing in this video Alright, the other eye, eye thing <laughs> is uh, an eyeliner from Kiko Milano. This is just a beige eyeliner and I want to finish this one completely. 
I have been working on this eyeliner since April when it weighed 5 grams and it has weighed 5 grams. I don't have decimals on my scale so I can't really see that that big of a difference but when you look at the progress pictures hopefully you can see that I have actually been using this one. Um, it is not very much left. Hello? If I, if I put it next to my face. Yeah, you can see that that is the only thing that I have left and this is actually loose. So not too much left. I definitely will be able to finish this one up this year which was one of my goals. Uh, maybe I should do a revisit to the things I wanted to pan in 2024. Maybe I should do that. Um, I used this on the like a lower lash primer or inner corner primer uh, because I have very runny eyes so if I just put down eyeshadow on my lower lash and in my inner corner I will just cry it away so putting down some kind of liner really helps the longevity so that is the main way I have been using this one I also use it on the lash line like on, on the waterline but mostly I use it on the inner corner and then add like the inner corner sh eyeshadow shade on top so we're still rolling with that one and finally I have the lip gloss that I've been working on. This is from September Rose. It's the lip gloss in Demi Sec, which is, oh, give me some Demi Sec right now. It's warm and sunny and I, uh, I want it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is the Demi Sec lip gloss. Uh, I always say this when I talk about lip gloss, but I'm not really a lip gloss person. I am warming up to it. I have a lip gloss on today. This is from Unearthly Cosmetics. But I want to work through my older lip glosses because it's not something that I would normally reach for. I'm more of a matte lip girl. So I rolled this one in last update and it weighed 23 grams. Uh, it is still weighing 23 grams, but... We have some pretty good progress on this one. Like you can see all of the windowing happening here. So this is not a lip gloss that will settle down. I still have a lot of product up, up here. I'm not going to remove the stopper because I always hear people saying that it makes such a mess to remove stoppers from lip gloss and I'm just not loving this gloss that much. So I won't bother but we are seeing the light of this. This is the shade. It's very opaque and it has very, very evident golden glitter in it, which is not my fave. I feel like the glitter, glitter is too, like the part glitter specks are too big. So I can feel them on my lips and it, fe it feels like a bit drying which is not um, not super nice. So I will be happy to finish this one up. Um, but it is going to remain for another month. So those are my 10 items that I have been working on. We are going to roll out the concealer and the powder and the setting spray. And what am I going to put in its place? Uh, I'm not being super fun. I am rolling in like switching out one to one. So for my concealer uh, I am rolling in a concealer. This might be... I'm a bit scared uh, to do this but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to roll in my oldest concealer currently in my collection and it is this one. Now do you see the size of this? packaging. This is the makeup, playing a makeup by Jolando uh, Evanescence Evanes yeah, what is What is English words? Uh, it's the concealer tw in the shade 212 Fair F and this is a big, big ass concealer. I know that some people use this like foundation and to cover up tattoos and shit because it is very full coverage. It is very good though. 
Like I don't normally have potted concealers like this, but this one is actually very nice. It's very creamy, even though it's quite full coverage. Slightly off in tone maybe, like slightly yellow, but um, the reason why I'm scared is because this is so big. I was contemplating like, do I set the goal to finish it? Do I set, or what do I do? I'm gonna start off by saying that I want to hit pan and see how long that takes. Because like I have other concealers, but then this is the oldest one and it is very good. And if I don't use it in a project, like I don't want this to go bad. So when, when should I use it if not now? Even though it will stay here for quite some time. I'm okay with it. I'm going to roll with it. I do have a little dip in the middle as you can see. And yeah, <laughs> wish me luck. But this is the concealer that we're rolling in. Uh, for my powder, I'm going to roll in a powder, another powder that I wanted to finish this year. This is a pressed powder. It's from Dior. It's the powder, no powder. I think it's actually like a foundation-ish type of thing. I have mine in the shade 0M, the lightest shade probably. Uh, and this is what it looks like right now. So I have a big ass pan in this, um, but I want to finish it completely because it's it was a pricey product and yeah, I don't want it to turn bad. It is changing in formula. I get hard pan, like, I don't know if you can see here, but I have like hard pan over here. So I need to like scrape it into something like a, a different container when I get hard pan and so on. So it's a bit annoying to use right now, but I want to finish this one up. Also, this is loose, so it falls out, which is not, not the best uh, if like with my track record of being a clumsy ass idiot yeah <laughs> we are rolling this one in to finish up and then finally for my setting spray i am going to roll in i think this is my oldest setting spray right now this is the lh cosmetics uh, onset long lasting setting spray it is 100 mils so we were working on this one I think this is the one that has like a really good, like it will really lock in the makeup. The mister is perfect, I would say. And now I'm even more dewy. We needed that, did we? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so those are the three, the three, the three items, the three items I am rolling into this project. Let me know how your panning journey is going. Have you finished up any products recently? Um, and uh, yeah, just leave a comment, say hi. I love to hear from you always. And that is it for this update. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.